Hi there, I'm Peter Millard and this is 10 Minute Workshop where 10 minutes in the workshop is never enough, it's never 10 minutes and it's never 10 minutes wasted. In the workshop this week I'm taking a look at Tim Sway's measuring and marking tool called the Square. We see what you did with the name there Tim. That's coming up next. So you know Tim Sway, he's uh, one of YouTube's good guys. Uh, Timsway.net, uh, YouTube slash Timsway. Uh, there's a link up there. Um, to his channel or down there in the description. Uh, as soon as I heard that Tim was producing this square, this tool, I bought one straight away um, for the simple reason that I have long, long, long wanted uh, a flat square um, without any of the problems of the sort of tippiness, something without a stock to it. That's great for marking off an edge, but to be able to take something inboard of a panel and to mark a square without the sort of potential parallax problems was really, really attractive to me. So as soon as I heard about Tim's, uh, Tim's tool, I went ahead and bought one. Now this is sold unequivocally as an imperial measurement tool. It is about three and a half inches by seven. Um, you can watch Tim's infomercial. I'm not going to go through the whole details of it. Um, I've had this for uh, uh, a couple of weeks by the time you've, you'll have seen this video and I've used it off and on. Um, it hangs off a screw on my shelf here along with many other squares and tools and things uh, and I found it to be incredibly useful for marking out. For measuring, well, not so much, because obviously it's Imperial, that's not a complaint. I bought an Imperial tool as a, as a, a marking app device, um, and, and it works really, really well for that. Um, however, I also added my voice to the clamour, uh, to the clamour of requests for a metric version. Now, Tim's made a couple of hundred of these, and they're laser cut in a batch. Um, I have number 148. Lovingly hand signed by Tim. Now, I don't know if Tim's going to re sign these um, when that wears off, when the Sharpie goes away. Um, uh, these are laser cut, uh, probably on a device that costs more than my house, uh, to within thousandths of an inch. Um, so, to produce a metric version, obviously, it's not just a question of you know, slapping a different set of scales on there. I I've got to say, I'm going to be really interested in how Tim goes about it. Um, as I say, I, I added my voice to the cacophony of uh, requests for a metric version, um, but when I started thinking about how I do it, it's actually not as straightforward as, as you might think. Let me show you. Um, with the square as it is, you've got little holes along it, and these are a quarter inch, half inch, three quarter, an inch, and also three eighth, five eighth, seven eighth. Um, you've got half inch holes here, and you can pop up an awl in there and scribe a circle reasonably accurately with it. Um, uh, uh, and there, every half inch. For a metric version, uh, what do you do? I mean, these can have metric scales on them, so that'll be 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 millimeters. But the material we use is 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 22, and 25 millimeters thick. Uh, you know, where where do you put these little holes? Well, they'll, I mean, if you put them in the material thickness, then they're not going to line up with the scales properly, and they'll be quite hard to, to place correctly. Um, I, I'm, I'm really interested to see how Tim resolves this because I've got to say I've been using the, the metric system since uh, 1966 was my first day at school and we were a year here in Britain, a year into the 10-year the changeover into, into from feet and inches to, to fully metric. Um, and, and I don't know which way I would go on it, I've got to say. I mean these probably makes more sense to make uh, the compass arrangement uh, with, a, with a 10 mil step on them. Um, the dowels, these are little dowel hole maker things, you can make your own dowels, don't think I'm never going to use that. Uh, but again, you'd want, you know, this is 3 eighth, quarter and eighth, you'd probably want uh, 10 eight and 6 mil, maybe 12 if you want to go bigger, maybe 4 if you're going to go smaller. Um, 
And again, up here, you've got a little half inch cut out again. That needs to be, well, what? <laughs> 10 mil or 12? I don't know. Three quarter inch needs to be 18, quarter inch needs to be six, an inch needs to be 25, and the inch radius, a uh, little sort of scoop out there, needs to be 25 mil as well, probably. Um, but it's a, it's a challenge to, to figure out which way to go on those scales. Uh, I mean, my, the, the, the you know, nice, neat, tidy, orderly side of me wants these to be 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 mil. Um, but the practical side of me wants those to be 6, 12, 18, 25, and 9, 12, uh, 9 15, and 22. Yeah, <laughs> I, I had to, you see? Had to think about it. Um, so uh, very, very interested in how, how Tim's going to go uh, with that. Um, but since I've had it, I've used it for all kinds of things. I haven't really, it, 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 you know, again, it does all, all manner of clever stuff. You can use it as a scraper. I uh, haven't really done that. Don't, don't really do a lot of scraping. Um, uh, the compass is really useful, even though it's uh, arranged uh, in imperial measurements, most of the time I'm not really scribing a, a circle or a corner that needs to be that accurate. It's just about sort of rounding a corner over. So instead of scrabbling around for uh, a roll of tape or, uh, you know, pot of paint or something to, to get a corner, you can actually just sort of line this up with whatever whatever works for you to get that right sort of right sort of radius on it. Uh, Tim sells these for $29.99 in the US. Uh, international shipping was a little bit steep at uh, $13.50 I think, um, but I bought one straight away because I, I, as I, I've wanted uh, a, a flat, you know, square for a long time. Um, uh, in fact, the first thing I noticed after I placed my order was, was that I got a, uh, a PayPal message to say that I had a refund and I thought, oh damn, you know, Tim's obviously decided that it's not worth the aggro of, of shipping these internationally. Uh, in fact, Tim was just refunding. He'd found a cheaper way to ship for about six dollars, six fifty. Uh, so he was he was refunding the difference in case his uh, his good guy status needed cementing. Um, so this arrived in about a week or so, nicely packaged. Um, it is you know as as a tool for a YouTuber to make and sell as a way of supplementing their income on their channel. It is it is brilliant. It is small, it's light, it's slim, it's easy to ship. You just put it in a padded envelope uh, with a little uh, bit of cardboard over the pointy end. Um, uh, uh, there was a slight surprise for me. Uh, here in the UK we get hit for VAT uh, on goods that are sent into the country if you put their actual price uh, on the customs document. So anything over ten dollars basically. Uh, and what happens is they, they charge you VAT and then a, a very expensive handling charge. So I paid another kind of £12, £14, $15, something like that, uh, for this. Uh, again, it's not a complaint, uh, but if you are going to ship something like this, uh, certainly to the UK, it's worth saying on the customs docks that it's uh, uh, worth less than $10, anything less than 10 bucks. Um, there's no uh, VAT applied to it. Uh, just call it a still sample or something like that. Um, but that aside, I, I really, really like this. Um, it's proved itself to be extremely useful, extremely uh, valuable in all kinds of different ways. Um, I wish it had a metric scale on it. Uh, I believe Tim is actually uh, sorting out a metric version as we speak. Uh, I think he's going to set up a pre-order system for it so he knows how many... Uh, there's got to be enough people for him to, to get a batch of these made. Um, uh, and I think the price with shipping is going to be about $35, $36, something like that. Uh, I'll be first in line or one of the first in line to order my metric version because I think this is uh, absolutely fantastic. Um, if I had a criticism of it, I'd say that for something that is so accurately machined, the, the holes for the pencil or an awl are a little bit loose. You know, you can get a, a, they're about two, two millimetres across, something like that. Um, now that works both ways. It means that, you know, when you're scribing a, a circle or a curve, 
you can actually get two different measurements. But you can see that's just the inside and the outside. Um, so, you know, it's you need to be quite careful about how accurate uh, you want it to be. And maybe if you're scribing a curve and it needs to be that accurate, then this ain't this ain't the tool for the job. I, you know, that's fine, I guess. If you need something to be that accurate, then you probably use a pair of compasses or, a, or, or a, you know, dividers or something. Um, but really, that's about the only, only criticism of it that I found. Plus, obviously, you know, metric scales would be useful. Uh, it's it's been hanging on a hook on a on a screw in my uh, in my shelf there above the workbench here for you know as long as I've had it the last couple of weeks I've found myself reaching for it very regularly um, it's not of course the only square that you'll need uh, you know how could it be but goodness I'm really glad I've got it uh, and I, as I say I'll be if not first in line, then one of the first when it comes to uh, pre-ordering the metric version because it's very, very useful. Uh, so that's it in the workshop this week for this quick review of the Tim Sway Square. Great piece of kit, uh, I really like mine and cannot wait to get the metric version. Um, check out timsway.net for details on how to order one of these if you haven't already done so uh, and keep an eye on Tim's uh, website as well uh, for details of how to pre-order the metric version. A few more details to, to square away, I believe, on that before that goes live. Uh, but hopefully uh, that'll be up in time for us to get our orders in so we'll get these shipped for Christmas uh, and the holiday season. Great gift idea to yourself, if to nobody else. Um, uh, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, give it a thumbs up, share it out amongst your friends, and please do consider subscribing if you haven't already done so. But that's it in the workshop this week, and I'll see you next time. Take care.